most of my existence, my life, my adult life, has been trying to plug that gap that was left from my childhood. My reason for doing this is because I had no help for 30 years. The NSPCC is clearly the place I should have been able to turn to. I should have been aware of being able to turn to. I should have fallen off my tongue. I should have reached for the phone. But there was nothing. I normally wake at 5.10 and I get the 5.52 train to Waterloo. I then go into my office, have a quick glance at the screens, grab my trainers and go downstairs into the gym. I do interval training on an exercise bike to a degree where I just want to give up. Cycling to the puke point, as we call it. Try and make it so onerous and so brutal, I tell myself to stop. But the point is, you don't, you just keep going. No one's talked me out of it, no one's tried to. I don't believe in not spending your life trying. I don't want to die one. You're tested constantly in many ways, but perhaps the most important way is mentally. I find that when I actually start climbing, I'm free. The only person who's going to fail and make me fail at that point is myself. It's not this utopian, romantic Indiana Jones thing that many people think from watching Discovery Channel. It's uh, intensely miserable at times. And when your family's at home, it's very hard to hang in there. It's important to me for supporters and people to understand that my climbs, my expeditions, all of them, have been self-funded. And every penny that people donate to me goes directly to the charity. There is uh, nothing more important to me. It's become a much larger part of my life than I ever imagined. And I intend to uh, pursue it, and quite bizarrely. All these elements have led me to a big lump of rock in some far off country. It's not the rock. I'm not a climber. I never work at a desk. I always have done. But this vehicle affords me the opportunity to show people what can happen, what does happen to children. The stigma attached to it is what crushes lives. And that's why we're here doing what we're doing.